So here we are on Black Ops 2 of all games. See here we are on the main menu for multiplayer. We'll move on to the other modes soon, but we're just going to start with multiplayer for now. So let's just jump into online. First thing we see is that there's only 502 players online in this game right now. That's interesting because on Xbox, I think the average is around a thousand. So more people seem to be playing on console, which makes sense because the 360 version is backwards compatible and playable on Xbox One. And there's a lot of people out there with 360s still for some reason. Anyway, let's see if we can get into a public match. We'll just have a look at... All right, look at the categories. I wonder if Nuke Jack is, is a possibility. Oh, oh, it is. Okay. I've never played this game mode, so let's give this a try. See, the thing with this game is it doesn't have servers. It's all peer-to-peer, -peer, so it's hosted by the players themselves. That's good, meaning the game can live forever hosted by players, but it's bad because it's hosted by players. It doesn't have servers, and it's super laggy if someone has bad internet. I think we just saw right there that there was a, yeah, definitely a modder in mm -hmm. this lobby. Yeah, yeah he's got like, you can see, you can definitely see players through walls or something right there because he, he did not know where I was for sure. And he's done that. He's killed me about three times like that where he hasn't, or I've like just spawned and he hasn't even seen me and he's just shot me through a wall. Yeah, look at that kill cam. Mm. With the accessibility of this game and because it's been out for so long, it can't be that hard to get you get a hold of like a modded clan or something and just go crazy and ruin these lobbies. You can see everyone in the chat. Hacker, fucking hacker. Yeah, there's there's a mod right now. That's one thing I hate about Black Ops 2. Let's see what other people are playing. We got that's what we were just on, Nuke Jack. Let's see if we can get any party games. Trying to join potential match. Alright, there's one person trying to get in. That gives me hope that maybe if you're on at the right time of day, you might be able to get into some party games. In my opinion, these are the best best game modes in Black Ops 2. These are the most fun. But a lot of people seem to like hardcore and team deathmatch more, which is fine. So let's give them, them a try as well. Hardcore. There seems to be people only in team deathmatch. And can we join? Oh, we got an extra player. Or two extra players. Oh, looks like we can get into hardcore. It just took a few seconds. It does seem to be people wanting to play this game mode, so let's see how we do on it. See, one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of hardcore is because you end up walking around for so long trying to find somebody, only to usually die instantly because you don't even have a crosshair or any sign of how much ammo you have or any of the basic stuff like that. It kind of ruins the game for me, but... I, I do see why people like it in a competitive sense. It's just not the game mode for me. Like, it's not even any kill cam, so people can just, like, camp wherever they want. Yeah. That was close. Damn. 73-75. Mm. I didn't do too bad on that for hardcore. Not normally that great. So it looks like the only game mode that people are in is free for all and team death deathmatch. So basically just team deathmatch. All right, so your only options are team deathmatch, hardcore team deathmatch, maybe party games if you're on at the right time, or combat training objective or nuke jacked. So let's click on zombies. Let's see how this goes. All right, so we're in zombies. Classic zombie music. You can probably all remember this from the classic days. Everyone's played this played this game for some reason. I don't know why it got around, but it just did. Anyway, let's check out online. All right, we've got 463 players online. That is a decent number. That's about as much as there were in multiplayer. I think multiplayer had about 600. There's more people in town. Just so town. I think that's town. town. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Grief town. Grief or survival? It's all right, there's, an, all right, there's only one guy oh, in survival. grief, so we'll have to do survival, yeah. Yeah. Grief, sure I out of know. one good games. There might be one match for this. Oh. That might be because um there's two of us. <laughs> nice names. Okay. That that was actually pretty know. quick. They need to fix zombies a little bit. They need to just, like, have it as a countdown now and then. Like, how you don't have to ready up. Mm -hmm. Like... 
They need to do it like a uh, multiplayer. Where you don't have to ready up. Like Round one. Yeah. Oh, this is the map I hate. I remember that now. I like the I one with the little map. car. The little bus, whatever it is. This one's got fire oh, everywhere and I always kill myself. I don't like it. The one with the bus. The one with the bus is... Uh, the Transit, no, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's transit. But there's... Yeah. You can play it as transit or you can play it as like survival. But you don't have the bus. So yeah, I must say, for this game's release date, 2014, it actually looks really good in 2020. It does actually. Like I, on, on PC it looks real good. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm getting th well, over 300 FPS as well. I would honestly prefer it if it would look like this on Modern Warfare with this frame rate. It would be a much better experience because uh, Modern Warfare is ridiculously hard to run at a high refresh rate. Transit. Alright. There's no one in survival for this. Oh my god. Um, Chris, we need to get out to the bus like now if you wanna oh, go. Let's go. I'm down. So yeah, should you buy this game? That is the question. Well, eighty nine ninety five, do not spend that much for sure. If it's on sale for like under twenty dollars, maybe, maybe give it a go. Don't buy a DLC. No one's gonna be playing it anyway. You're gonna have a harder time getting into games with the DLC installed, and it's just not gonna make your experience any better having those extra maps unless you're doing a lot of custom games. But if you look at the reviews, we'll see. Yeah, not at full retail price for an eight-year-old game. Never give Activision money. Really good game, but I can't recommend it at full retail price. Multiplayer is dead, but the campaign is fun. Zombies is still alive, but if you want to play anything other than town, then good luck finding anyone. So, yeah. That's how active the player base is. Uh, do know that this is, is um, recorded at night time at about 1am, so... Yeah, players might be more active during the day, but it, it definitely does depend on the time. And um, who in the world is on which will affect your ping times. So yeah. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully I had a good in-depth look at the game and uh, answered any of the questions you might have had. If you have any more, feel free to hit me down in the comments. Otherwise, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Do, it all, do all that if you want. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next Fearless. one.